Can I do any accents? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I can't do it here. <laughs> um, my name is Roman Mars. I'm the creator of a radio show and podcast about design called 99% Invisible. One of the things I've always loved about the show, it highlights the what I think are the more important aspects of design, the problem-solving aspects, the story and the history, without getting bogged down in the aesthetics of design. Because I think, you know, even here, I think we get a little bit too wrapped up in how pretty everything is. And I like pretty things as much as anybody, but I really love the problem-solving aspect and like what the history of objects are and what it says about us as humans. So to me, 99% Invisible is about who we are through the lens of the things we build and design. And also design is about process and if there's a process, there's a story. If there's a story, I can tell it on the radio and it doesn't need to have images. I mean, the easiest thing is finding stories to tell. That, that one is never an issue. And that's the thing that most people think um, is the biggest hurdle to what we do. They're like, how do you get your ideas? Ideas are never the problem. Ideas are easy. Having time to finish ideas is the hard part. So um, one of the great things about covering design the way that we do is that any everyday mundane object can be a subject. And if you dig deep enough, you can usually find a story that's worth telling. And so that part of it is, is the fun and easy part. It's the uh, six weeks of research and scripting and sound design and editing. That's the hard part. In terms of covering design, I was not, I'm not a designer. I'm not an expert of design. I think it's one of the things that serves the show well. Uh, because it boils down design to the common sense approach that you can relate. And there is a lot of common sense in design and that's kind of what makes it beautiful to recognize those things. One of the things that really changed since the creation of 99% Invisible for me was it made me a much more optimistic person. Because as I began to study all the little details that really smart and caring people sweated over to make my life better, you know, from just the readability of a poster or anything, it makes you feel like when you walk through the world that you're being cared for. And I am not a naturally optimistic person, but I feel that when I think about design. Mm -hmm.